Welcome, everyone, to New York. Okay, you go late. Stop. What is this, Brandon? I go to New York. Uh, Six. Make a Brian sandwich. That's a, that's what kind of guy I am, Brian. Making your sandwich. It's June. And I'm wearing a toboggan. It may be a little overkill, but it says it's 44 out. And I hate being cold. So I got my boggin on. Yep. Only if you want. Well it was like 105 at Gunnersville, so. Yeah. Big swing. Big swing. The northern swing. Love it up here. Love it up here. God. They're so built up here. Just your average fish. Oh no, I'm wrong. It's over four. It's four thirty. That's so crazy. Day one of practice is almost uh, almost wrapped up. It's the first time we could really even talk to you guys today because uh, the wind has been 
at Relentless. Um, and uh, today was pretty slow, really. I mean, got some bites. Uh, you know, probably had five or six of those bites that you really need to have in a tournament day. Um, but just, I'm not super confident. I don't feel like I have any areas that I'm just dead set on feeling like I can really catch some good ones. And I didn't find any bedding fish. Um, I was really wanting to go look for spawning smallmouth today, and I just elected not to just because of the wind. But tomorrow's supposed to have some nicer weather, a um, little less wind in the forecast. So uh, I'm going to try and do that some and uh, see if we can't find us a few tomorrow. <laughs> Not my dinner. Wake up. Wakey, wakey. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. The game plan today is to find more bass. More bass than we found yesterday. So we didn't find very many bass yesterday. We need less snacks, more bass. A lot of snacks yesterday. A lot of snacks. There's a there's a direct correlation to how many snacks I eat versus how many bass bites I get. <laughs> the few the fewer bass bites, the less the bass eat, the more I eat. So we are making a little move uh, this morning, put in down south, and uh, looked around for a few hours, tried to find some spawning smallmouth, and uh, didn't exactly find enough of what we were looking for to justify um, staying down there. And we're really not going to have great conditions. We're going to have a lot of wind the first day of the tournament, and, uh, and even the our second day predicted for some wind and a lot of clouds and rain. Um, so with that said, I just feel like, you know, sticking up north, um, it's not really what I wanted to do coming into this event. Um, I really wanted to catch spawn and smallmouth, um, but I just don't think the conditions, at least for the first couple days and uh, the forecast, and there's just not a, as many laying around as I thought there would be. So we have uh, pulled the plug on that, coming back up north and kind of kind of push our chips all in on the, uh, on the large mouth game up here. Um, so we're gonna continue to try and build on build on this program for the rest of the day. We got about, shoot, another eight hours to do it. So we're back in the water up here up north and uh, trying to find the, the needle in the haystack. And uh, it's not really a needle in the haystack. What we're doing is there's this a lot of fish in this lake. This is a huge flat up here on the north end of this this lake and it's like nine, eight to ten foot everywhere up here and uh, it's all grass. So what I'm doing is I'm using my active target and putting it in the water, kind of panning around and looking for those holes in the grass. So you got some some nice clumps out here, some bigger clumps. We're just throwing those clumps in little holes and trying to find where they're grouped up.
All right, guys, so we just finished uh, rigging all the sweat rods up and uh, ready for tomorrow, man. Um, you know, I don't feel like I had the best practice ever. Like I said, I know spawning smallmouth are going to dominate this event, and I may have made a bad decision, <laughs> um, kind of abandoning that. Uh, just with the weather and the forecast, it just turned me turned me away from it. And uh, anyways, so like we said, we pushed our chips all in. We came up north, found some more areas where we can get some bites. So that is good. Had a productive afternoon. Um, just got to hope that there, we get a few of those really solid bites. There's a lot of four pounders and a lot of five pounders in this lake. And uh, if we can get two or three of those really nice bites each day, then we're going to be fine. Um, so yeah, man, we're gonna go out there tomorrow, give it all we got, and uh, hopefully uh, have a good tournament. But that is it for this video. Uh, we'll catch you guys. Mr. Watson's laughing at me. <laughs> we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for following along. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you all in the tournament video.